Digital notebooks are making tons of money on Etsy, but how do you actually create one? Let's hop into Canva and I'll show you how easy it is to make a digital notebook from scratch. So first we want to create a new design. So I'm here under a Canvas homepage and then I'm going to click custom size. And then first I'm going to change it from pixels to inches. And then I'm just going to make an eight and a half by 11. So it's very simple. Create new design. And then I'm just going to rename this digital notebook. So now I want to find a really nice pattern background for my cover. So under the elements, I'm going to search for a background pattern. And then under graphics, you can either select graphics or photos. It's really up to you, but there's usually some really pretty versions under graphics. And if you scroll down, you will see that some of these graphics have this little pro icon. So if you have Canva Pro, you'll be able to access it. And Canva has tons of background patterns. If you want something very neutral or very simplistic, you could easily find something that kind of fits your style. I like this particular background. It's kind of pretty. And some backgrounds, you could actually go in and customize the colors, which is nice. So I'm just going to stretch it out. And then I'm going to press R to activate a rectangle, resize it. And I'm also going to change it to white and just add a little bit of corner rounding and maybe a subtle outline. And then you could also get fancy with it by adding maybe like a shadow over here. So it looks like a real notebook. So I'm going to press R again to activate a rectangle, resize that select the color swatch and I'm going to turn this into a dark gradient. So select gradient over here, change both to black. And then in the second one, I'm just going to reduce this all the way down. So now it's almost like a realistic shadow. And then under transparency, I'm just going to lower it just a bit. And then we want to duplicate this. So I'm going to duplicate this one, put it right next to it and then select the color, switch the little gradient. So now the gradient is going the opposite way. So now it looks like you have this realistic indentation within your particular notebook, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna leave an area right here for notebook. And then I'm gonna select the text to find a really cute text combination. If I ever struggle with finding cute fonts, I like to go over here just to get some inspiration. I'm going to select this one because I really like this font. It's so this is called Cooper BT. And then I'm going to change this to my notes. Center it. And I'm going to select the color swatch. So Canva grabs colors from any graphics in the design, which is really nice. You could also add some lines directly under it if somebody wants to actually write on it. So I'm going to press L on my keyboard to activate the line or a line. Change it to 1% line weight and then duplicate that. So this gives the user the option to write on the cover itself. So now we have our really nice cover. I'm actually going to select add new page. And here we're just going to start adding our basic lines. So press L on the keyboard again. And I'm going to stretch this out, change the line weight to one. And then click duplicate. So before you deselect, you're going to grab this arrow right here and bring it down. So it's really up to you on how wide you want the space between each line to be. So before that's deselected, we're going to press Command D or Control D on our keyboard and keep pressing it so it duplicates perfectly under each line. So I want to add a similar illustration to this pattern. So I'm going to select the pattern in the sidebar, click on those three dots, and then click See More Like This. So you're going to see patterns that are very similar. Select this. Put it over here. And then I'm just going to shorten these particular lines right here. 
So we have this really nice graphic. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the grid view at the bottom right, and then we're going to Command D or Control D, or you could just click on the three dots and click Duplicate Page. So I'm just going to duplicate several different pages. So Canva has a page limit. So for something like this, maybe make it like 50 pages long. So it has a little bit of bulk. And then you could always go in and if you want to customize things, go ahead and add different little graphics to each corner. So now that you have all of the pages ready, what you can do is you can download it as a PDF. So go to share at the top right, click download, and we're going to select PDF standard. And what's great about this is you could easily just duplicate this particular design and then just quickly update the background, the fonts, and the little graphic and resell it as another design. So I'm actually going to delete this background and add something different here. So I'm going to select this one. And the really great thing about these patterns is that if you actually duplicate this and just put it right next to it, it will continue the design. So I'm going to duplicate it so it looks like an actual pattern design. And then just duplicate this one and the next one. So it looks like an actual pattern. Or you could just make this extra large. Then I'm going to select position. And under the layers, I'm actually going to move these. So all the patterns, I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and select all of the text and layers and put it above. So now you could easily see this. And then I'm going to also change the font. So I want the font to be a different color and a different style. So I updated the font. And then with this shadow, since you can't really see it right here, this little crease shadow, what we could do is we could change this to white. So that way you could see that really nice crease right there. Change this to white. And then you would just go in and update the graphic. So you probably want to do this before you duplicate all 50 pages. So I'm actually going to just remove these pages by holding on number three, pressing shift, and then selecting the last one. So I'm selecting all of them, deleting it. And then I'm just going to remove this little guy. And then I'm just going to look for some little orange flower graphics that are similar to this design. This is cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add one up here and then add another one down here. So you have this and you could add additional graphics if you prefer. So I'm just going to add one down to the bottom right. Resize these little lines here. So hold shift on your keyboard so that way you can resize them straighter. Press grid view and now I'm just going to do command D or control D or you could just select duplicate by clicking on the three dots. And then I'm just going to duplicate it really quickly using my keyboard down to 50 pages. So we were easily able to create two different types of notebooks in Canva. So you could literally just duplicate this file, swap out the pattern, change the fonts, and swap out the little graphics. And you could sell them on Etsy, you could sell them on your stand store, Shopify, you could make dozens of these notebooks and you could even sell them on Amazon KDP. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video showcasing how to create these notebooks in Amazon KDP. If you want to learn how to create actual digital planners and notebooks, as well as digital stickers, check out my course, Create Planners with Confidence. I teach you how I create all these digital planners and digital stickers in Canva Pro. I left the link in the description. Go check it out.